Who's there? How are you here at this hour? Don't tell me. Wait! Huh? The lights! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in this dorm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Welcome back. Do you have a minute? I'm sorry, but I'll need some of your time after school. I have a special request for you. I apologize if I'm being abrupt, but I couldn't think of a better person to ask. I'll tell you more about it after school. Until then. Sorry to keep you waiting. To make a long story short, I'd like you to join student council. We meet regularly, but I don't expect you to participate every time. Just come to the student council room when you can. Because of your ability to lead, being president is very time-consuming. I'd like to have an ally to support me in the event of an emergency. An ally meaning someone who understands my situation. You know what it means to be a leader, so I'm asking you. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. And I've already filed and approved your student council membership on your behalf. But you'll have to go to the faculty office on your own to sign everything. I'm sorry for making arrangements without your permission, but I hope you understand the position I'm in. Once you're ready, come to the student council room. I'll be waiting for you there. Yes. I see. Thank you. Help yourself to the snacks as well, if you'd like. Today, I wanted to show my thanks for your hard work, as well as check in to see how you're doing. Ever since you joined us, you've been taking on a lot of responsibility as leader of our group. Have you been running into any trouble? If you have, please don't be afraid to let me know. I apologize for putting so much pressure on you. I'll do whatever I can to help. I have to say, I am grateful that you agreed to take on the leadership role. And I want you to know that you're doing an excellent job. Akihiko was right about you. Your cup is empty. Let's pour you another. It's late. 
We ended up spending a lot of time here. Let's turn in for the night. Oh, I'll take care of the cleanup. I'm glad we had the chance to talk today. I'd like to invite you again when the opportunity arises. Then with that, I bid you a good night. Mm. I didn't put a lot of thought into what books I brought. I just took whatever caught my attention. I apologize. I should have asked what your preferences were beforehand. If you don't mind my asking now, what kinds of books do you usually read? Oh, do you now? I'm partial to historical fiction myself. I actually read a lot of it. I'm rather fond of novels. All you have to do is turn the page to experience another person's life. And that reminds me, Yamagishi mentioned liking novels as well. I never inquired further, but maybe she'd make for a good reading partner. Incidentally, the books I brought today are things like biographies and history books. I can attest that they're all worthwhile reads. Rather accessible ones, too. I hope you find them to your liking. You're really tearing through the pages. I'm impressed by your focus. <sighs> it's nice to spend some time reading quietly together like this. Thank you. That made for a relaxing evening. Well then, it's about time we return to our rooms. Good night. Right. So dance, Thank you. If you wanna go ahead. It feels nice being able to pour tea for someone else like this. Oh, my apologies. I'm supposed to be the host, and yet here I am thinking about myself. How about you then? Are you having a good time? My apologies. Let me take care of that for you. <laughs> I'm glad you aren't afraid to speak up when you want something. Apparently, the popular opinion is that I'm difficult to approach. Hmm? We're running low on snacks. I'll have to ask my staff to... Actually... Oh, never mind. Here, let me pour you another cup. All right, I think that's enough for now. We should start cleaning up. I'd like to invite you for this again, if time allows. But for now, let's head back to our rooms. Agus, be sure not to stray too far from us. Are my words even registering to you? I see. So you wish to restrain me? Be warned that my ability to jettison my hand from my wrist would make holding it a poor method of restraint. Fine, fine. Just make sure to stay close to us. Hmm? This aroma. This is takoyaki. Would you like to try some? Shopkeep. I would like to purchase one. Shopkeep? Um, got it. Coming right up. Well, aren't you a lucky guy with two beautiful ladies? I'll throw in an extra for you. On the house. On the house? Do the takoyaki have some kind of architectural purpose? Mm. Oh, extremely high temperature juices have spurted out from inside. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Looks as though you've had another valuable experience. You should have some too. Show I guess the true nature of takoyaki. As for me, I'll have to decline. Right. 
What are those? Those are masks. They're worn over the face as a form of recreation. One can find enjoyment by hiding one's face? Hiding your face isn't the objective, exactly. Rather, you get to experience having a different one. <sighs> Putting this into words is proving difficult. So then, by wearing a different face, you are able to become a different version of yourself? Yes, that's about right. Your degree of comprehension is actually quite stunning. At this rate, a few more tests and the chairman may give you permission to go out on your own. I look forward to that. Hey there, ladies! Wanna try your hand at a lucky draw? Make some nice memories? What do you say? Odds are looking good, lots of winning tickets left. Hmm. Why don't we give it a try? Congratulations, you won! Wow, you must have incredible luck to win on your first try. Here is your prize. Enjoy! I have won a water pistol. Between this and my onboard firearms, which is more effective in combat against the shadows? Here, let's trade. In exchange, I'll give you these marbles I won. They're beautiful. Don't you agree? Well, I think we've seen all the vendors now. It's starting to get late, so let's head back. Not yet. The mystery of the shooting game is yet unsolved. I precisely struck the item to unbalance its center of gravity, yet it did not even budge. Perhaps you should ask Iori the trick behind it when we return. Come on, let's go. Yes. Today, I'd like to make a snack food that would pair well with tea. That said, I'm not terribly well-versed in the art of cuisine. So I'm hoping to make some simple karumeyaki. Did your teachers ever show you how to make it? Excellent. Then I don't need to explain. All right, let's get started. Temperature control is key. We want to turn off the heat right before it hits 130 degrees Celsius. Oh, we should keep things moving. Let's put the sugar in the ladle first. What a nostalgic flavor. It may not require hours in the kitchen, and the taste isn't particularly complex, but I'm quite fond of these. And more than anything, it's nice that we can make it ourselves. You know, when I saw this for the first time, I thought it was like magic. I've tried making it myself a number of times, but I ended up burning it on every attempt. I guess you could call it a bittersweet memory. But I didn't give up. I continued practicing. And that's finally led to our success today. What do you think? Hearing you say that makes me glad to have shared it. Back home, there were plenty of opportunities to host formal dinners and tea parties, but I never considered it particularly admirable to have someone else prepare the extravagant dishes. Doing the cooking myself also allows me to talk with you like this. And isn't that sort of familiarity the key to understanding each other better? I think this might have been what I was missing. Instead of complaining about being difficult to approach, I needed to create an opportunity for change. <laughs> it's fascinating the kind of things you learn by simply inviting someone over for tea. Thank Oh, right, I had a favor to ask. There's still some sugar and baking soda left. Do you think you could help me make another batch? Karumeyaki keeps for a long time. 
This could be a good chance to make some for the others. So mind your own business, whatever like is. We go flow with the sun. Hey, 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 feeling the fire with the burning desire every day. We inspire. In that case. Do you ever feel encouraged reading about the influential figures of the past? Even leaders who forged great nations faced the challenges of interpersonal relationships. Well, it's natural to consider things, isn't it? Oh, were you expressing concern for me? Thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to distract from our reading. Shall we get back to it? Oh, look at the time. I think that's enough for today. That was a pleasant time together, hearing nothing but the sound of each other's pages. I'd like to hear your thoughts on our reading again sometime. But for now, good night. Salut! In that case, I see you're reading a biography of the Empress Dowager from the Qing Dynasty. By many accounts, she was vilified as a ruthless despot during her reign. Then again, these kinds of stories are known to stretch the truth. Oh, pardon me. I'm getting ahead of myself. I should let you read first. Reading this actually made me think, what is the right way for a person to rule? Too much kindness and you'll be seen as weak. Sometimes a ruler needs to be harsh. Even so, I imagine the Empress Dowager's final years must have been lonely, given that she was feared by her people. What do you think? A ruler is responsible for the lives of many others. Is it difficult for someone like that to find happiness like everyone else? A happiness equal to the hardship, perhaps. It's hard to imagine what form it will take, but I'd like to believe that's true. You know, thanks to you, I've been able to sit down and reflect on a reading for the first time in a while. It really does help to have a partner going through the same book as you. Being able to discuss the material allows us to broaden our horizons even further. Such storied figures are often only written about after their passing, but surely sparks of their greatness could have been seen long before. Sometimes I find myself thinking you have that same potential. <laughs> and you've got away with words. I trust you won't disappoint. Jokes aside, I do have a lot of faith in your abilities. I hope you'll wield them with confidence. Oh, it's gotten late. We'd best turn in for the evening. Let's have another reading session here in the future. But for now, have a good night. Ikutsuki-san. I guess? What are you doing here? <sighs> She's simply here to fulfill her role. As a weapon, that is. What? Kutsuki-san! What are you trying to pull? You said the Dark Hour and Tartarus would disappear if we defeated the Twelve Shadows. That's why we've been fighting this whole time. So why? What are you trying to accomplish? Destroying the Shadows, getting rid of the Dark Hour. It was all a lie, wasn't it? You've known since the beginning. Excellent deduction, Hirijo-kun. Unfortunately, you're too little too late. No. You tricked us? 
It's all going just as I planned. It's no accident that the Dark Hour and Tartarus continue to exist. I never intended for you to rid the world of them. Quite the opposite, in fact. What do you mean? The Twelve Shadows were parts of a whole. They were destined to be reunited. And thanks to your diligence, that destiny has been fulfilled. Death, the Almighty shall soon arise and bring forth the fall. Death? What are you saying? Why would you want that? The end shall come and free this world from despair. It will be the death of everything, but also the beginning. What is he saying? Is he out of his mind? You see, I, too, was a scientist on the project ten years ago. The experiment did go awry, but that wasn't the reason the Dark Hour and Tartarus came to be. They manifested as a result of harvesting the Shadow's power, just as the experiment was designed to do. That's why your grandfather gathered so many Shadows. To initiate the Fall. That can't be! Humanity has overrun this world, turning it into a barren void in the process. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. According to the prophecy, the fall will be orchestrated by a prince. And once he has delivered us all, he shall rule the new world as king. The attempt years ago failed. But the time has come at last. I am that prince. This is insane. Are you serious with this shit? I do apologize for deceiving you. But all your hard work has paved the way for the future. Stay at my side for just a bit longer. And you too will find salvation. Find it how? By dying? I have a question for you. And what's that? In that video from my dad, he said the shadows had to be defeated. Was that a lie too? Ah, uh, that was in fact his recording. Of course I had to modify it to my specifications. You doctored it? Such an unsavory way to phrase it. Your father, Eiichiro Takeba, was a superb scientist. He didn't know me at the time, but I truly respected him. While others focused on the Shadow's abilities, his research led him somewhere far deeper. But unfortunately, he couldn't comprehend the magnificent potential of the fall. What? He left that recording at the expense of his life. So it seems. But it did come in quite handy. I'm sure he'd be happy knowing that. So you were behind it all? You used my dad! And me too! Used is such an ugly word. It had to be done for the sake of the world. Our job is to right the wrongs of the past. And we intend to do just that. Senpai, what are you... <sighs> I was hoping you'd be able to see the light. But you are just kids, after all. Maybe my expectations were too high. I guess it's time you fulfilled your role. Capture them, and prepare them for sacrifice. Understood. Energy output at maximum. I guess... what's wrong? I guess, please! Engaging.
What's going on here? <sighs> what the hell? <sighs> what is this? <sighs> Damn it! I can't get these off! What is the meaning of this? It's exactly what it looks like. They are our sacrifices. Harbingers of the fall. All the pieces are in place. And now, the prophecy shall be fulfilled. What? Bastard! You're full of shit! My, my, how lively. I guess... Affirmative. Father! You traitor! Are you insane? Far from it. You know, your father was an unfortunate man. After all this time, even his own son can't comprehend his vision. My father was wrong. Death as deliverance is an ideology no one should ever embrace. You fool. You've become nothing but a burden. I guess this man will be our first sacrifice. Now, deliver unto him. No, please, I guess don't. <laughs> what are you doing, I guess? I. I. Fine. I'll do it myself. Ten years. I've wasted ten long years. I am not like your father. I won't make any exceptions. of a machine? I'll do it! <laughs> it's all over, Chairman. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Why do you waste your time searching for a reason to live in this broken world? There's no point to it at all. The only possible way to fix this is to start over! <laughs> Yes. Yes, I was chosen. I'm going to be the god of the new world! <laughs> what a shame. I was so close. <laughs>
How did it come to this? Ikutsuki san! Father! 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 My father once made a promise. He swore he would atone for putting our generation in danger even if it cost him his life. But I... I wanted him to live. I became a Persona user so I could protect him! <laughs> Hello. I should follow? Uh, all of it? Does everyone do that? Uh, I'll do my best. Now then, let us begin. Bon appétit! Flavor. I thought it's strange at first, but it carries with it a subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Excuse me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine? Chef de Cuisine? Talking to me? Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chef. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon. The hell is that? You're asking about the recipe? Sorry, miss, can't tell you. That's how we put bread on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table? I suppose that means it comes in sandwich form as well. I see. What a fascinating delicacy. That ain't exactly... Well, whatever. The recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. Oh, sorry. Um, my imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting to try ramen for a long time. <sighs> Do you find that... unusual? Good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. The style of restaurant is new to me too. So, I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. I would love to return here in the future. Notice the time. We should be going. Hello. <laughs> Greatly appreciate. Interesting. 
So this is what the interior looks like. It's smaller than I expected. Well, technically, yes. But I did pass by once with Akihiko. So, I understand that you don't eat with utensils here? My lack of knowledge on this subject is a serious problem. In all honesty, it's a good thing you're here. Is it actually profitable to sell these items at such low prices? I'd be interested to know the average cost per unit. Oh, sorry, I found myself lost in thought again. In truth, I didn't ask you here just to eat. I wanted to express my personal thanks to you. Right now, our strength and conviction are being tested to their limits. We've only made it this far because we've been blessed with each other's partnership. I know I've been asking a lot of you, even more than the others, but I truly appreciate it. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. didn't realize we were talking for so long. It would be rude to let the food grow cold. Shall we begin? Hello. Thank you. Interesting. So this... Takoyaki doesn't contain an entire octopus, but only a small portion. I mean, that does make sense. The entire creature would be far too large for a single person. <sighs> Sometimes my own ignorance truly astounds me. think I am. Please, allow me to be the one to treat you. What? They don't accept credit cards. <sighs> so it's filled with dice octopus. Interesting. Hmm. There's a mild sourness combined with the chewy texture of the seafood. Quite flavorful. Hmm? Are there other ingredients mixed in? In any case, it's quite good. C'est très bon. That reminds me, Akihiko once mentioned this place. Hmm. Speaking of Akihiko, don't you think he's been acting differently lately? I can't place my finger on it, but I've known him for quite a long time. Feels like something's changed. Maybe he's just maturing. Of course I'm happy. With all that we've been through, it can be difficult to get over what's happened in the past. But Akihiko is using his experiences to make himself stronger. I'm quite impressed by that. When I look at Akihiko, I can't help but reflect upon my own life. It's the most peculiar feeling. right. Maybe a part of me is panicking because I feel like I'm being left behind. Oh, sorry, don't mind me. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry to subject you to my thoughtless rambling, just... Forget I said anything. Thank you. That takoyaki was absolutely delicious. We should eat here again sometime. Salut. There's not much time left for us to spend like this. In just a short while, we'll be looking back on these days with nostalgia. No, 
I'm probably just tired. It's nothing you need to worry about. Since my father passed away, I've been faced with a number of complicated issues. My inheritance, the future of the Kirijo group, and the expectations of everyone involved with both. It's possible I won't be going to college or starting a career. I may need to walk a different path. Say, what does marriage mean to you? <laughs> That's a straightforward answer. However, I'm a Kirijo. I can't let my feelings tug me around when making these decisions. An agreement between two parties, such as marriage, takes careful consideration. My parents' marriage was arranged for strategic reasons, but as time passed, they slowly grew to honestly love each other. I don't think they were unhappy with their lives. Love can take many different forms. Am I wrong about this? If I could speak with my father one last time, I would ask him directly. <laughs> Looks like we ended up staying until closing time. Talking in the library. <laughs> I'm not setting a very good example as student council president. We should go. Hello. Thank you. It's so simple. You just purchase a ticket at the window and then walk in to enjoy a film. This may sound silly to you, but I've always wanted to try the whole theater experience. Even though we sat at the end of the aisle, I didn't feel that my view was compromised in the least. It seems a lot of thought goes into the design and construction of a movie theater. It's thanks to you. I've never felt comfortable enough to come here alone. I'm sure most people don't consider this to be such a big deal. I imagine someone like Yukari would have no reservations seeing a movie by herself. She's likely more suited to riding a motorcycle than I am as well. Yes, you must have seen it when I rode in to provide support for the team. However, that wasn't my original motivation for getting it. With a motorcycle, I can go where I want, when I want, all on my own. You could say it's my modest attempt at rebellion against the many restrictions of my life. After it was damaged, I considered letting go, but ultimately I decided to have it repaired instead. I don't regret it. Even now, I spend my time tuning it whenever I can. Together? Just the two of us. Can you ride one on your own? Or do you plan to cling on behind me? <laughs> Whichever it is, you've got your work cut out for you. In any case, you have my thanks. I'm feeling a lot better now. went through stressful times, maybe they had moments like this, too. Sorry, I know this isn't the proper place to stand around chatting, but if it's alright with you, why don't we stay here a bit longer before heading back? Yes.
sorry to drag you along on this personal venture. No, there's no need. Thank you, though. Looking through the literature section made me realize something. There are so many books about romance, but far fewer on the domestic life that comes after it. I wonder if that means the most exciting time in one's life comes prior to the wedding. Does everyone go into marriage with the expectation of losing something? The truth is... The group is in turmoil over the inheritance issue. And some of the older members are of the opinion that a student like me isn't up to the task. But I'm the daughter of the head of the group. I need to show that I can take the lead, even if I have to make sacrifices to do it. Uh, fiancé has been chosen for me. He's the new president of one of our affiliates, and he's much older than me. But if I agree to the marriage, the future of the company will be secured. He's planning to announce the partnership and our engagement at the same time. Doing so will give the appearance that the company is stable both inside and out. This is the best solution for everyone involved. you didn't. You're the only person I've told so far. My mother and father walked the same path, so I won't run from my fate. Of course I am. Think about it. What would I do if I broke off the engagement? Leave everything behind and go on a journey of self-discovery? Why would you ask me that? You're making me doubt myself. Say, recently I've been feeling a little hesitant about meeting up with you like this. I already made the decision to carry out my duty, but whenever I talk with you, my resolve begins to falter. Why do I feel this way when I'm with you? <laughs> I think it would be best if we left off here for today. Sorry to do this after inviting you out here, but I need to head home and go over some paperwork on the partnership. Excuse me. for fast food. Just the other day, I had the urge to ride my motorcycle out at night to buy some. <laughs> it's your fault that I'm having these temptations now, you know. <sighs> Do you remember when I told you I was hesitant to meet up with you like this? I'd like it if you could forget I ever said that. We both sleep under the same roof. There's no point in stressing over it. And besides, I just need to steal my resolve. Say, I have just one favor to ask. Could you continue to show me new places like this? Just until graduation. I'd like to see more of this world that I've been so blind to. Or is that too selfish a request? Thank you. Let's make some wonderful memories with what little time we have left. You've taught me so many new things. Whether you're taking command in battle or just talking with me like this. As long as I have these memories of you, I'll be all right. Or so I hope. Now then, the day is still young. You promised me your time. I'd like you to make good on that now. <laughs> I 
I'd been interested in seeing that film for a while now. It was a fascinating watch. While the road trip plot was nothing out of the ordinary, the way the characters expressed their emotions was masterful. When the main character left everything behind to go on a journey, that really struck a chord with me. And then in the final scene, he decided to return to his normal life. I wonder if he was happy with that decision. Say, have you ever thought of running away to a place like that? Somewhere far away where no one knows who you are? I see. So you feel that way too sometimes. I'm not saying I wish to leave everything behind. It's just that every now and then, the things that matter are the very things that hold you back. The future of the company, the weight of my responsibilities. Sometimes I even wish that I wasn't shackled by the Carrillo family name. <sighs> I know. I understand that I can't afford to think this way. Listen to me complaining like this. How pathetic. Talking to you has become something of an outlet for me. <laughs> I'm sure you're sick of it by now. That's very kind of you. The offer is quite tempting. I hope you know what you're getting into. While we're on the topic, there's something I'd like to ask you. <sighs> Hypothetically, let's say that I was interested in someone right now. I knew I could never be with him, but even so, I couldn't help but harbor these feelings. Would that be wrong? Uh, keep in mind, this is a what-if scenario. To me. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey, Mitsuru. I've been looking all over for you. So this is where you've been. Come on, let's go. What? Wait a minute. Um, I didn't make any plans with you for today. What does it matter? I managed to secure an opening in my schedule tonight. I'm a very busy man, you know. As a simple student, you're just going to have to work around it. I can't. I've already made plans. Do you know how long I spent looking for you? Don't tell me you have something more important to do than spend time with me. <sighs> Why the long face? You're supposed to be my fiancé, you know. Honestly, I thought you understood our arrangement. If you're going to be my future wife, you'll need to learn some obedience. Why must you and your family always be so difficult? Well, at least your father's not around anymore, so that's something of a relief. I imagine you feel the same. <laughs> you say that? Thank you. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Get lost. Come on, Mitsuru. You know how this works. Corporate management is not child's play. No matter how smart you are, you're still going to need my knowledge and experience. And the Kirijo group still needs the cooperation of my company. Doesn't it? <sighs> yes. Good girl, Mitsuru. I knew you would listen to reason. Now, let's go. I've made reservations for us at a luxurious restaurant. All right. I wish you hadn't seen that. Thank you for today. 
It was quite fun. I'm sorry. Really. Please excuse me. It's all right. I appreciate the sentiment, though. Come on, Mitsuru. Hurry up. By the way, you... Who do you think you are worming your way into her favor? You ought to know your place in society. A commoner like you isn't even fit to breathe the same air. Don't you understand? You're just a nuisance. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's a world of difference between you and us. Mitsuru, Take care not to associate with his kind anymore. Enough. Mitsuru? I said that's enough! I won't let you insult him! What? Why are you getting so angry? This is someone I have a great deal of respect for. If you insult him, you insult me! M mitsuru what are you saying? You would side with him over me? You said there was a world of difference between you and him. Well, you're right. You can't compare to him at all. He stands on his own two feet, challenging fate with his own strength of will. Seeing his outlook on life has inspired and influenced me countless times. I... I... I want to be with him. Now... And forever. You want to be with him? Now and forever? What are you trying to say? You're supposed to be my fiancé! Are you implying I'm beneath this nobody? Take that back this instant, Mitsuru! It's not too late to ask for forgiveness. Think about the future of your company. I will not apologize. I want to be with him. You're not the one supporting me in my time of need. The group will do just fine on its own. We don't need help from a weasel like you. As of today, we'll have nothing to do with each other. And if you dare to attempt some petty retaliation, then next time you'll have the full might of the group to contend with. Get out of here, you Philistine! I don't want to see your face ever again! <gasps> Grandpa! Grandpa! <sighs> I... I don't think anyone will come up here for a while. I leveraged my position on the student council to make it happen. This is, um, the first time I've ever used my authority for personal reasons. Wait, that's not important right now. What am I doing? What I'm trying to say is, we need to talk. Firstly, I have to apologize. I'm sorry for what happened last time. <gasps> oh, so it did. When that happened, um, I said all manner of things about you, and then I just ran off. That was unbelievably insensitive of me. I'm sorry. I had been planning on telling you my feelings. I just didn't think I'd end up shouting them in public like that. Hey, don't tease me like that. I didn't think I had it in me either. Ever since I started spending time with you, my life has been full of new experiences. I felt shock, joy, even outrage, but 
Every time, I've always been thinking of you. <sighs> now that it's come to this, I'm obligated to tell you exactly how I feel. <sighs> Here goes. I... I... Love you. I feel like I'm going to die of embarrassment. <gasps> you... love me too? I... I'm so happy to hear that. Or should I say, I'm thankful? <sighs> My heart... <sighs> At this rate, it's going to end up like last time. It really is wonderful, though, to know that the feeling is mutual. <laughs> I'm glad I managed to open my heart. As of today, you're more than just a friend to me. That said, given my situation, I can't go public about this just yet. about this for a while now, but the way you address me. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. You're on a first name basis with me while I've been sticking to formalities. It's a bit unbalanced. All right, I've decided. But from now on, when it's just the two of us, I'll call you by your first name. It's going to be a bit awkward for me, but trust that this is what I want. In any case, today marks a change. I'm not going to let myself be constrained by my family heritage. It's because of who I am as an individual that I ended up meeting you. Ugh, look at all these things you're making me say. You better take responsibility for this. This is a start. Don't let go just yet. I know what you want to say. Our maid staff assisted with the furnishings. I recognize it's a bit beyond standard for a dorm room. It's almost like a second lounge, isn't it? <laughs> Yukari says that to me all the time. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, I want you to have this.
It's the key to my motorcycle. I'm not going to run from my future anymore. Rather, there's no longer any need to. I don't have to think of my motorcycle as a means of escaping my feelings. Though I do regret that I won't be riding it as often anymore. I'd rather ride with you. Of course, you'll have to sit on the back until you get your license. When this is all over, I'll teach you how to ride yourself. I'll be looking forward to it. Please do, but remember to be careful. <sighs> it's still a bit embarrassing to call you by your first name, but when we're alone, no one else can hear me. Your name is more than just a name to me. It's something special. If I were in danger, it would be my last desperate call for help. Uh, right. So, um, I... I want to be with you tonight. Will you stay with me? I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Empress Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Empress within thyself. Are you ready? You didn't invite anyone else, did you? Wait, what am I saying? Sorry, I'm having some trouble remaining calm. I'll let you decide where we should go. accustomed to Christmas decorations by now, but for some reason they look especially beautiful today. Uh, hey, don't tease me. Well, shall we stroll around for a bit? Even a simple walk with you is quite pleasant. No manner of extravagant party could offer an experience like this. Here, I'd like you to have something. order for you. My hope is we take some time to enjoy it together, once things have settled down. I'm glad I was able to give this to you today. Thank you. You prepared a gift for me. Oh, wow. Do you have a persona that can read minds? Thank you. This is a gift I'll always remember. For once, I feel calm, like I'm finally at peace. I should probably let you know. When I see you enjoying yourself with Yukari or the others, I get restless. But at the same time, it's a pleasure to be reminded of these feelings I have. In all honesty, I never thought I'd be allowed to be this happy. Oh, it 
It's already gotten so late. When I'm with you, I sometimes find myself wishing for the clock to stop moving. What a peculiar feeling. Could it be... Uh... Um, sorry. I was just talking to myself. It's nothing. Come on, don't look at me like that. I'm going to see how flush my face is. This place is awfully bright. Do you mind if we go somewhere else? What's the matter? You don't look well. Are you tired? Try not to overdo it. Uh, I'm sorry. I should try not to call you that in public. <sighs> if you don't mind, could we have a little chat someplace else? I have some business to take care of later on, but I'd like to talk with you until then. Thank you. In that case, why don't we go to the student council room? I'd like to see it one last time. This room feels so nostalgic, even though the entrance exams have only kept me away for a short while. <sighs> the results haven't been posted yet, but I'm fairly confident that I passed. If that's the case, then this spring I'll formally become a college student, and that means I'll no longer be seeing this view. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to spare today. The company heads are conducting a briefing. The Kirijo group may appear strong, but it's actually rather frail. It could collapse at any time. I have to keep it together. <laughs> of course. In fact, there's something that only you can do. Who else is going to help me clear my head when I need a change of pace? It's thanks to you that I learned to feel comfortable in my own skin, beyond my identity as a Kirijo. Before long, I'll be taking my leave from the dorm as well. I've begun packing up my things, but I haven't made significant progress. My books, my clothes, my photos, Every one of them brings back memories. It's been a short but eventful three years. It all went by so fast, especially the year that you came. Whenever we spoke or passed each other in the dorm, I felt like my heart would burst. I never knew I had these emotions just waiting to be given permission to be felt. I wonder what would have become of me if you hadn't transferred to the school. If I hadn't met you, would I have gone through with the arranged marriage? Or would I have gotten on my motorcycle and left it all behind? Fate is... a mysterious thing. Well, there's no point in dwelling on the past. There are things that need to be done for the future of the Kirijo group, as well as my own. And for your future as well. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Come introduce yourself to the heads of the family sometime. Don't worry, you'd only be saying hello. I'd just like them to know who you are. Well, it's almost time. I'd best be on my way. I'd love to see you back at the dorm, but I'll be out late tonight. Perhaps this weekend? Just the two of us? <laughs> who else will lend me their shoulder when I need a little support? You're the only one who can do this for me. Go on, try and name someone who could do the same. <laughs> Was that a bit much? Well, now you know how serious I am. I need you in my life. <laughs> well, we'll see. Now then, if you'll excuse me.
I admit. I'm finally noticing the beauty of spring. It's wonderful. And yet, without exception, each and every season will come to an end. We fought side by side. We faced the world's end. And now, I'm finally beginning to understand what it was I'd been searching for. I always wondered what it really meant to live. Now I think it's following your heart, fighting for what you can change, and accepting the things you can't. Nothing on this earth lasts forever. Every life will one day fizzle out. That holds true for all of us, and as soon as you come to terms with it, you realize something. You see what really matters, and find out what it is that gives your life meaning. When I learned that I wasn't strong enough, I was tormented by it. Now I understand why. Protecting others is the duty I was given. But to me, it was more than an obligation. At some point, it became something I wanted to do for myself. Once I decided to try and prevent the fall, something inside me clicked. When I thought about how I might never see you again, that's when I first understood what mattered to me the most. And so, I made up my mind. What I want is to protect you from now until the end of time. I want to stay by your side. And I know I'm not the only one out there who could do this. But still, I want to. Because I'm positive. If I do it for you, then nothing's a waste. My life will have meaning. So, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, what's gotten into me? It's good, I finally found a reason to live. So why am I... through thick and thin. Not everything needs to be for some greater purpose. Just caring about someone can be enough. That's all we need to give our lives meaning. As for me, I found my path. And that's to protect you with my life. going anywhere. In a moment, the others will be joining us.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>